So, Rory, you mentioned that you want to keep the fight standing up against Gracie. Uh, you want to use your kickboxing, but you're also a black belt degree in jiu-jitsu. So does that mean that like you really don't want the fight to go to the ground knowing that you're also a specialist in jiu-jitsu? Yeah, I just feel like that's his biggest strength. And I, I, have, uh, I have a strength in kickboxing, so I'd like to keep... I like to keep the fight kickboxing because I do feel I, I'm a little better than him rather than maybe testing my, the waters with the jiu-jitsu where I know he's strongest. I see. Now, you have never lost a fight by submission, uh, so how do you think your style might just up against someone like Gracie? Or, uh, you know, he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu as well. Uh, where's my jiu-jitsu matchup with him? Yeah, like how do you think you match up? Because you, you have not lost his, uh, a fight by submission. Yeah. Um, and, uh, he, of course, has uh, nine submissions. Yeah, uh, I, I think he's dangerous, you know. Uh, if I, I never rolled with him, but I, I'm sure he's very good. He trains at an amazing gym at Henzo Gracie Gym in New York, which I've trained at too in the past. Um, so I know he's going to bring it on the ground. So I'll try to stay clear of there if I can and keep it kickboxing. Are you are you still currently training with uh, George St. Pierre? Yeah. yeah. And uh, how, how has training with somebody like George St. Pierre, a legendary fighter in the UFC, how has that shaped you up to become a better fighter? Like, what have you learned from a great fighter like GSP? Uh, he's a he's a great person, first off, and you know he uh, he um, you know he's a great training partner, um, you know great role model, and he's got a lot of uh, a lot of wisdom to share, and he's been very helpful in my career.